In this video, I am trying the 28 challenges of selling AI generated art pardon. Spoiler, it's easier than you think. AI art is taking the world by storm and people are catching in big. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can get started with minimal effort and potentially make a significant income. I have tested this side for an entire month and I am sharing every tips. Stick around and I will show you how much I earn it. So the first thing I did was pick an AI or generator. I went with my journey because it got those airy some features. Picture this. I wanted to create a watercolor sausages and eggs for shrinking. But not just send any old sausages and eggs. I am talking about pattern that repeats seamlessly. Why? Because people love using them for scratchbook, cards, notebook covers, packaging, and print on demand stuff like phone cases, pillows, mugs, you name it. Selling pattern can be very profitable if you get them right. Now, here's the catch. The AI generated sausages and eggs art did not repeat me seamlessly, so I had to trick it. With mid journey, all I need to do was add the comment dash dash tail to my pork and voila. We have got endless sausages and eggs that repeat perfectly. The plan, sell those on Etsy. It's this online marketplace where art and craft rules and people are crazy about pattern or digital paper as they call it. To figure out which pattern to sell, I use Etsy search suggestion and nasty free tools called eWay. It's a great for keywords research and help me spot popular niches that are not too crowded. Some of the hot topic I stumbled upon included specific flowers, materials, and food like ours. And yeah, those sausages and eggs were not just for plain or one. But then I had a snipe mid journey output does not match Etsy preferred resolution. Mid journey can only handle 72 dpi and 1024 by 1024 pixels, which is not just going to fly. So I needed to upscale there are plenty of free upscalers but i work with Vigo pixel ai a pay tool that can bubble up images to 300 dpi and increase the resolution by six times instead of just upscaling to 3600 by 3600 pixel standard i went big 6144 pixels to give my customers that extra something etsy usually sell patterns and pack so i decided to bundle mine and pack of full once all of my ai pattern were generated in upscale it was time to create my listing but there is another hiccup etsy only lets you upload five digital files per listing and luckily i have got less next i needed photo for the listing i wrap it up a couple of templates and photoshop one for the thumbnail with a quick preview of all of the pattern and another that show off full patterns and full now about the pricing let's be real pattern on etsy don't sell for much typically between one to five dollars per pack but here's the silver lining aside from the time and money it takes to create the patterns and etsy fees there are not many orders costs the profit margin is so Selling deep percent to 90 percent to nail down my pricing. I use even profit calculator, factoring in Etsy fees and a 50 percent discount. I plan it to apply. My final sale price two dollars and 49 cents per pack. I always go for a number that ends with nine because it make it look cheaper. With the price sorted, I turn it to the title and tag. I pack them with popular keyword related to digital paper and AI pattern. A few good sources for keywords include similar list. Etsy search suggestion, e-work, and AI tools like ChatGPT. Although, heads up, ChatGPT is not perfect, so you have got to know how to use it wisely. Once everything was ready, I had published that boom, my sausage and eggs were out in the wall. Now, it was time to create more listing. And when I say more, I mean a lot of more. Over the past week, I have been grinding hard. I create over 100 new listings and generate over 400 individual AI patterns. My brain is practically swimming in patterns at this point. To make things easier, I have been using my journey describe comment. Let's say I found a cool pattern of oranges and wanted to make something similar. I will upload the pattern and my journey will analyze it and spit out four different pumps to recreate something like it. It's a time saver and takes the guesswork out of the equation. But here's the kicker. No sell yet. I am halfway through this 28 days challenge and it's been quicker. I know it takes time for new listing to show up in Etsy search result, but I have got a challenge to complete, so I decided to crank things up a notch by turning on Etsy ad, spending a dollar a day and crossing my finger. Last time I did this with this AI art print, 
I saw sales pretty quickly, so I was hopeful for a repeat. Sadly, luck was not on my side. By day 21, still no sale. The ad were not cutting it or at least not fast enough. I started to second guess myself, do my pattern short, on my thumbnail off, my title, type, pricing. I could drive myself crazy, speculating, but my best guess, the competition is fierce and it's tough to get noticed without reviews. If I had more time, I'll probably tweak the business model, maybe even use the AI pattern to create and sell my own bread on demand product like mugs. It seemed like a natural next step that could boost both sales and profits. Anyway, I have reached the end of the challenge. Before I spill the bin on whether this was a total flop or if a miracle happened in the last week, here's the honest truth. Selling AI patterns is not easy at its look. Sure, anyone can wrap up a pattern with me journey, but that just makes the market super saturated. You could try niching down, but then you are up against another challenge, low prices. To put it into perspective, to make $100 at the price I am selling, I will need to move 53 packs. That's 53 people I will need to convince. And that's already a tough sell, not just to mention the advertising cost. To make sales, you pretty Pretty much need to run Etsy ads, but that eats into your revenue, which is not much to begin with. So you will need to sell even more patterns to make a decent profit. It's a grind, no doubt about it. All right, here's the moment of truth. I saw a grind of two AI patterns, a vintage scenery pattern, and a rocket store tubo pattern. My total revenue. $7.47. Now, let's talk expenses. Mid journey cost me $20 for a one month subscription. Etsy ads cost me $15 over 15 days. Etsy also took a chunk with transaction fee, 48 cents. Processing fee, 73 cents. Tax on seller fees, 15 cents. And listing fees, 20 cents per listing. With 100 listing that added up, to $19.40. So after all that, my net income for this challenge a not so impressive negative $54.40. But hey, sometimes that's just how it goes, right? You live, you learn, and you try again. Now, if you like to try different trended ways to make money online, comment down below and I'll create a video for you. But don't just click on it just yet. Make sure to subscribe if you want to go your wealth, okay? I'll see you over there. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Peace. Bye.